Now we're going to go over tangent, tangent angles. We're going to talk about a special theorem relating to this type of angle. So how can we draw a tangent, tangent angle with reference to a circle? So we need to draw two tangent lines that is connected to a common endpoint. So let's call this point A, B, C. So we have a tangent segment AB and another tangent segment CB. A tangent line or a tangent segment touches the circle only at one point. Now one special theorem you need to know is that the measure of the minor arc AC plus the measure of the tangent tangent angle, which is angle B, that is equal to 180. So those two angles are supplementary. So let's say if arc AC is 140 degrees, what is the measure of angle B? So angle B is going to be 180 minus 140. So angle B is going to be 40 degrees. Now there's another way in which we can get that same answer. And you need to know that, well let me give you the equation first. Let's call this point X. Angle B is also equal to one half the difference of the major arc, that's arc AXC, minus the minor arc AC. But first, we need to calculate the value of the major arc. Now notice that the major arc AXC and the minor arc AC, they make one complete rotation around the circle. So therefore, they must add to 360. So the major arc AXC is going to be 360 minus the minor arc, which is 140. And 360 minus 140 is 220. So now we can use this equation to calculate the measure of angle B. So it's going to be 1 half of 220 minus 140. 220 minus 140 is 80 and half of 80 is 40 degrees. So that's how you could confirm that answer. But the first theorem is a lot easier to get angle B. So make sure you realize that these two angles are supplementary. They must add up to 180 if you're dealing with a tangent tangent angle. Let's work on some other problems. Let's call this point A, B, and C. Let's say this is D, E, and this point's going to be F and G. So let's say the measure of arc DE is 150, and the measure of arc FG, we're going to say it's 30. Calculate the measure of arc AB. So feel free to pause the video and try it. So arc DE is 150 and arc FG is 30. So what is the value of angle C or angle FCG? The measure of angle FCG, that's a, a secant secant angle. A secant touches the circle at two points. It's going to be one half the difference of the two arcs. So one half of 150 minus 30. Now 150 minus 30 is 120. And half of 120 is 60. So these two angles, they're equal to 60. And they are vertical angles. So now we can use that special tangent tangent angle theorem to get the measure of arc AB. So remember, the arc plus this angle has to add up to 180. So therefore, the measure of arc AB is going to be 180 
minus 60. So therefore, it's going to be 120 degrees. And so that's the answer. Now let's work on another problem. So let's say this is point A, B, and C. And we have a line segment between A and C. And let's say that arc AC is equal to 150 degrees. With this information, calculate the value of angle BAC. Go ahead and try this problem. So what do you think we need to do? So we know that arc AC is 150. And so that's this arc right here. How can we find this angle? Well, we know what angle B is going to be. These two angles have to add up to 180. So 180 minus 150 is 30. And now let's focus on what we have on the left side. So this is A, this is C, and this is B. So CAB is a chord tangent angle. AC is a chord. It's a line segment that touches two points on a circle, and AB is a tangent. Now, what is the relationship between the chord tangent angle and the intercepted arc AC? The chord tangent angle is one half of the intercepted arc. So half of 150 is 75. So CAB is 75 and also ACB is 75. They have to be equal to each other because they intercept the same arc. So if you add up these three angles, they will add to 180, which is what we should have for a triangle. So the answer, angle BAC is 75 degrees. That's it. Let's call this A, B, and C. So we have another tangent, tangent angle problem. And let's say that angle B is 4x plus 14, and arc AC is 12x plus 22. And let's call this D. What is the measure of the major arc ADC? So try that problem. Now we know that angle B and the minor arc AC, they have to add up to 180. So we could say that 4x plus 14 plus 12x plus 22 is equal to 180. So 4x plus 12x is 16x. And then if we add 14 and 22, that's going to be 36. Now let's subtract both sides by 36. So 180 minus 36, that's going to be 144. And now if we divide both sides by 16, we can see that x is equal to 9. So now that we have the value of x, we can calculate the measure of this angle. I mean, of that arc, rather. So arc AC, the minor arc, is 12x plus 22, or 12 times 9 plus 22. 12 times 9 is 108, and 108 plus 22 is 130. Now, to calculate the measure of the major arc, ADC, notice that that arc plus the minor arc adds up to 360. So the major arc is going to be 360 minus the minor arc, which is 130. And 360 minus 130, that's 230. And so that's the answer for this problem. That's the measure of arc ADC. So in this example, we have a circle inscribed in a triangle. So we have triangle ABC, and there's three points of contact. Let's call this D, E, F. So in this problem, you're given that arc DF is 120 degrees, and angle B is 50 degrees. So calculate everything in this problem. Calculate the measure of arc EF, 
and also angle C, angle A, and also the measure of arc DE. So angle B and arc DE, they have to add up to 180. So 180 minus 50 is 130. So arc DE is 130. Now, these two also have to add up to 180. So 180 minus 120 is 60. So angle A is 60. Now, the three angles of a triangle have to add up to 180. So 180 minus 60 minus 50 is 70. So the arc plus the angle has to add up to 180. So 180 minus 70 is 110. Now, all of the arcs that form a complete circle must add to 360. So 120 plus 110 plus 130 adds up to 360. So we know that the answers are indeed correct.